Welcome back to Catch Talk, everybody. I just watched the trailer for Spies in Disguise, Will Smith's new animated movie, although it is not his movie alone. Tom Holland, the uh, kid that plays the new Spider-Man, is in this movie. It is an animated movie, and it feels very much like The Incredibles. It's pretty much Will Smith plays a spy called Sterling. He's like the best spy in the world, and I believe Tom Holland plays kind of like the dorky uh, scientist kid that makes all of his gadgets. Um, in this trailer, he winds up turning Will Smith into a bird, and you know, he freaks out because he doesn't want to be a bird, and you know, Tom Holland's character never told him he was turning into a bird, it was kind of like a secret, or a surprise, and then he freaks out and tells him to turn him back, and Tom Holland's pretty much like, but, you know, there are birds everywhere, and they can get away with being unnoticed. It looks funny, like I said before, it feels kind of like The Incredibles, it has that kind of like, feel to it. Um, it definitely doesn't feel like a Disney movie, but I don't think it is. This movie's being made by Fox, but which is rare because you don't really get regular cartoons anymore unless it's like a Warner Brothers, like straight to DVD movie with Batman or, you know, a Disney movie. So it just, it's rare to get a movie that isn't Disney is all I'm saying. The visuals are very Pixar-y. Uh, it looks like a Pixar movie, although it is not. Will Smith hasn't had the best run with cartoons. I remember he came out with Fish Tales, I believe it was called that I was really excited for, and then the movie wound up being really bad. And Tom Holland hasn't really had a chance to dip into cartoons yet either, so I'm excited to see how he is in this. I love cartoons, don't get me wrong. I've seen every, you know, Disney movie that's come out in the last couple years that was animated and stuff. I'm just a little skeptical to see somebody outside of Disney doing it, or Warner Brothers or Marvel, because um, like I said, it's very rare that you get movies that aren't from those companies anymore, uh, animated, especially that are in theaters. But it seems like as of late, we're getting a lot more uh, animated movies outside of Disney. Like we're getting Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse and stuff. So it's a good time to be a cartoon fan. The movie looks funny. Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to rely too heavily on the action. I mean, the only action I really saw in it was him karate chop like a guard in the throat, but it's played for laughs. Although, I don't know if I'm very interested in seeing a kid-friendly spy movie. Uh, my favorite part about the spy movies are kind of like... Him killing people like a spy, and I don't think we're going to get that in a movie like this. I am aware that it is a child's movie, but I'm also an adult, and I have my standards to what I like out of spy stuff. I mean, The Incredibles look like it has more action than this. But again, it's only the first trailer, so I'm going to hold my breath and wait to see what they show on the second trailer. I don't think this whole movie is going to be about Will Smith being a bird. I think that's just to highlight the kind of chemistry that they have between each other and the kind of friendship they have, where the kid kind of... It goes against uh, Will Smith's back to, uh, you know, plan things that he thinks could benefit them. This movie's probably going to be about them learning to respect each other more and uh, become better friends. I could already pretty much see the moral of this whole story. I'm excited. Just not as excited as I am to see, like, the next Incredibles or even Frozen 2 or Toy Story 4. Or personally, my favorite thing, How to Train Your Dragon 3. That is a movie I'm really excited about. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Do you think that this movie could be good? Do you think it could stack up against other Disney movies coming out later next year? Because it is coming out in 2019. And how do you feel about someone other than Disney making a cartoon movie coming straight to theaters? Let's talk about it down below. And as always, I'll catch you next time.